Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Have you ever had a client ask you to do something that when you looked at what they wanted you to do, you just weren't sure whether it was possible? Today I'm going to title this video, The Impossible Engrave. I recently had a client reach out to me that wanted this 100 year old piece of barn wood engraved with some scripture on it. They wanted to keep it in, on the ranch. It was, uh, this wood has some sentimental value to it. And uh, they really wanted this done. Well, when you look at this piece of wood, this is the end off of this wood, you can see that it's horribly cupped. It's just, uh, like I said, you look at it and it's got a huge cup in it. Matter of fact, it was a lot worse than it is today. What I've been doing is I've been a, taking a squirt bottle with water and I've been uh, squirting the, the middle of the belly of this board and it's slowly straightening out some to see if I can get this uh, flat enough to where I can engrave it. And so we've made quite a bit of headway. It's probably uh, come uncupped by oh close to an inch I would say. And I think it's going to be time that we can go ahead and, and try this out and see if it's possible. This is a one shot deal. I've got two pieces of uh, of this 100 year old barn wood. They want three different signs. And so I've just got a couple of small scraps that I can kind of see if this is gonna work or not. Now I took the job and I told the client that, hey, this may not work. I, I'm just gonna have to wait and see. So I didn't promise them that I could do this job just because of how horribly cupped this wood is. But this is the kind of stuff that if you know a little bit about your laser lenses can help you a bunch. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, I own three lenses. I own an inch and a half lens that's on the uh, laser right now that I use for some engraving. I've got a, the standard two inch lens and I've got a four inch lens. And the only way that you're going to be able to do some engraving uh, on wood that's this cupped is to use your four inch lens. Well, Why do we use the four inch lens? It's because the four inch lens has the largest uh, in focus area compared to the rest of the lenses and because if I know it's going to you know the focus is going to change because of this horribly cupped wood what I'm going to have to do is determine kind of the middle point and use the both edges of that sweet spot now there's no way I'm going to be in focus uh, all the time I'm going to be in focus on these edges and I'm going to be out of focus here in the middle. And so what I'm going to do is kind of split the difference. And so what we're going to do is we'll probably go to light burn. We'll set this up. We'll see what, what they want. And if it's possible, do some measuring on uh, what we get for, uh, for millimeters and how much this wood is really cupped. So one way to, to, to uh, defeat the cupping is to, to moisten the middle of the, the belly of the board and that will flatten it out. Now it's going to return to its original cup. There's no doubt about that. I just want it flattened out as much as I can get it while I engrave it and then it's eventually going to dry out and go back to what it was before and that's okay. They know that this engraving is going to look 100 years old so they're not expecting a perfect engrave. They just really want this done. Uh, the wood has some sentimental value and we're going to try to get it done for them. So First thing we're going to do is we're going to lay this out and then we're going to do some tests on the laser to, just to see if it's possible and we'll go from there. Stick with me. Okay, I've gotten into light burn and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our template. So I'll put up a piece, or excuse me, I'll put up a picture of our te one and only test piece that we have the, for this project and it uh, measures 12 and a quarter inches wide by 11 and a quarter inches tall. Um, one thing I talked to them about is I didn't really want to cut the top or the bottom. It's just going to, the fresh cuts are just not going to look that good. So we're going to uh, leave this sign a little tall, uh, but that adds to the complication of the engrave because it adds more cup to your project. And so worked with the client on the font. They just want a very simple stick-like font easy to read. I've got the approval on the, uh, the size of the font and we're going to just take up this size of this test piece. In case I need to make changes I can go ahead and have another piece over here. And so I'm going to center this text. This is part of the text that they want on one of their signs. And I want to use the exact 
font and kind of well, exactly what we're going to get because um, I, you know, I just can't run down to the store and buy more material and create another sign form. So I got to be absolutely sure this is going to work. Let's talk about our settings. I'm running a, a Thunder Nova 35 a 100 watt <clears throat> and my engraving start is going to be 400 millimeters per second at 28 percent power. Um, I'm going to do the 317 lines per inch and when we go to the laser you're going to see that I'm going to try to balance the focus and you'll see what I mean when we when we go to the laser. I'm, my air assist is going to be off and um, then my black lane, my, my black layer is strictly for reference. It's just illustrating to me the uh, piece of wood I've got in my laser. I'm using user origin with the upper left hand corner which is right up here. So when I go to frame this up, I'm going to drive the laser head to this upper left hand corner and hit origin on my uh, controller. And then we'll go ahead and frame this piece and give this a try and see what it looks like. Okay, we've gotten to the laser. I've got my test piece. As you can see, it's horribly cupped. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is try to get this part level in my laser. So I can go ahead and figure out where the, where the uh, balance point is for my focus across this engrave. And so the first thing I'm, I'm going to just, I've just put a couple of magnets down on the bed and I'm going to use the, those magnets as a support. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this piece of wood over here. And what I want to try to do is I want to try to get this level. And so, boy, that was a pretty good guess. Um, and so all I want to do is, so I don't have to worry about my uh, head crash or anything like that. I want to be able to make sure this is even as possible. But you can see how much this board is cupped. But that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So that's level enough. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drive the laser head over. I'm going to get it framed so I know where I am. And then I'm going to move the laser head around and take some measurements and see um, where we're at for focus. I've got my board in where I think. I've got my origin in the top left hand corner. I've got my four inch lens installed. I'm not worried about focus yet. I haven't gotten that far. All I want to do is make sure this test piece of wood is uh, in the laser appropriately. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit frame button and I'm going to watch the red light just to make sure that this test piece is where it needs to be. And that so what I've done, the text starts from an inch and three quarters from the top down. So I just put a little washer there as a placeholder. And this is going to be the top of my text here. And I'm going to take a measurement here. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. It was about an inch and three quarters from the bottom. And I'm going to drive my laser head over here. And I'm going to get just an average uh, uh, distance. And then we'll see where we go for, for uh, measuring things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set you down right here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up that bed a little bit. And I'm going to take my step gauge. And I'm measuring on normal, the normal focus is just a little over 10 millimeters, right? And so I know I can't be 10 millimeters here or I'm going to be way out of focus in the middle. So I'm going to focus into the normal focus distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise this bed a little bit more. And we're going to say, okay, that's about uh, 7 millimeters. Let's go to the middle. And we're going to be, this is about 12 millimeters. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and see what that is, and that's going to be about 12, about 10 millimeters. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to focus in a little bit more on the top. And so I'm going to pull this in and make this at about normal focus distance. Then we're going to go up. And we're at about six millimeters there. And we're about eight millimeters there. So we're, we're getting close. Probably come up just a little bit more. 
and that's 12 millimeters, so that's two millimeters out of focus, which should still work fine. And then here, we're at six millimeters, and here we are at seven millimeters. So that's about as good as we're going to get. So now we've, we've established our focus. All right, we are going to pull the trigger on this. I've got the file loaded and we'll see what happens. Now the top and the bottom are gonna be the ones that are very close in focus. And we know that that's gonna be crisp and clean. Um, the question will be, am I too far out of focus in the middle? And so this is gonna be a few minute engrave. I will uh, get back to you when this test is done. Okay, we're getting ready to finish it up. Then we'll open the lid and check it out. It looks like it's gonna work fine. What I love about this engrave is it's gonna end up in knots and you know, there's gonna be some serious imperfections in this engrave, but that's exactly will match the timepiece of this wood. So um, they're certainly not expecting perfection, especially with the material that they provided. It looks like, uh, looks like it's gonna work pretty well. So we were at a maximum of 13 millimeters at the very middle, at the bottom of the engrave, and about four millimeters up at the up at both ends. So you can see, if you set it up right, you, you can get an engrave that's got a pretty wide range. All done, let's check it out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see, let's see if this, uh, if this dark stuff will wipe off. I'm not going to be able to sand this or it'll ruin the uh, the uh, the wood itself. They don't want it sanded and I can understand why. So let me uh, put you down. I'm going to see if I can wipe this off right quick. Yeah, that's gonna clean up fine. Um, little bit of burn, that's like I said, that's just gonna add to the nuance of this, of this 100 year old wood. So I think our setup's gonna work great. Four inch lens is all, makes all the difference in the world on a project like this, that's for sure. Well, I'm pretty excited about the way this is gonna come out. Um, I think uh, a huge range of focus between four millimeters and 13 millimeters and still be able to read the product just fine. So just remember, knowing your capabilities of the different types of lenses that you can have will really widen or open up opportunities that you might not think you have. I hope this information was helpful. I'd really appreciate it if you like the content. Hit the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. We're at about 14,200 subscribers now. I'm really happy about that. And if you have the ability, if you hit that thanks button and contribute to the channel, it's those contributions that are making this content possible. I really appreciate you guys sticking around with me today. Have a great day.